I'm going to walk you through the steps required to put on a speed reducer for a Texo 1460 sewing machine. First thing you're going to have to do is get underneath and undo the motor mounts, undo the motor and the mounts requires a 14 millimeter wrench or three bolts. Then you'll have to move, drill, redrill new holes 20 millimeters forward of that position. Then using a 24 inch belt you align with your new motor position and pull the speed reducer taut before drilling pilot holes for your bolts. Then you require a 27 inch belt to go to your machine. The drawback to this system is you'll have to undo your uh, adjuster bolt every time you want to and remove the belt every time you want to uh, tip the machine forward. The other modification I made while down here is I put in an aluminum bar on the end of your uh, motor switch to get added sensitivity to your treadle. And then moving to the top of the machine you have to uh, move your bobbin winder. You'll have to adjust it so that uh, it engages and disengages at the proper moments. Uh, there was not too much of a slot adjustment. A little bit of a file out for a clearance on the belt. For uh, finishing off I took a uh, Dremel tool with a router attachment uh, to take the laminate down to countersink the bolts to a certain extent. I 3D printed caps but you could get away with using a margarine lid or something like that to pop in covers. As you can see, speed control is very, very good.